Hi everyone, so it's me, Anna here, and I'm actually going to try to attempt to do a tutorial for this eye look that you see me wearing here. So before I actually get into doing the eye look, I wanted to show it to you, and I wanted to explain some of the products that I'm using because I don't have any video editing software at my disposal right now, and I really don't want this video to be too long. So if you will bear with me, we'll go through the look, right? Um, as you can see, it's different shades of green, and on the inner piece here, I used a orange, and um, then I cut my crease with a black, and then I highlighted with a champagne color. Um, I am wearing my lashes, of course. Feel free to um, use fake lashes if you want to, but I absolutely suck at it. And then I lined with um, a sort of emerald green um, color. So if you would like to see how I get this look, just keep on watching. Okay. So um, let me just rest you guys down here as good as I can. And I'm sorry about the lighting. I have been trying my very best to get the best lighting so you can actually see um you know as well as possible but um this is the best that i could have done i will be using for this look my elf 144 palette and this is what it looks like i will also be using the amuse professional makeup palette and i believe this has um 40 shades in it so that's that and um for lining I am using the clean color vibrant and this is what it looks like so okay and um, the first thing that you're gonna do is that using the elf 144 palette I'm gonna be taking this orange hair right to the bottom and I'm gonna be putting that in the inner corner of my eyelid and I'm gonna be doing that using my um, crease brush and that's just because I think it helps to put it in the best so you want to just take your time and pat it on as well as putting a little bit to the bottom here and blending it in, it in like that I of course put too much so I'm going to take my fluffy eyeshadow brush and just blend that out a little bit both on the upper and lower and then I'm going to be taking this blue again from e.l.f. it is the second from the bottom and it's a sort of shimmery blue and I'm going to pop that on my eyelid till about like quarter way out when you reach about quarter out you're going to stop and while packing it on, you want to make sure and blend it into the orange. To get that nice, seamless look. So when we reach the outer corner now, um, what I did was I had put some scotch tape to get that very sharp look that I have here. And I forgot to put more, so I'm just going to put that on now. Okay, I'm going to need to turn on my light for this. You see how bad the glare is? Right, so you just put on the scotch tape and you leave it like that. Um, if you're a novice or a beginner, or if you're just not good at stuff like this, like me, this is going to really help you out a lot so um you guys would let me know if it was better with or without the light of course right so um now we're gonna go into the amuse palette and taking this blue shade here right there we're gonna take that and we're gonna put it on the outer corner of the lid I'm 
behind and after you put that glue on the outer corner and you try to blend it in of course we're gonna come back and we're gonna take some of this black right here we'll be using the same brush just take some of the black and then very carefully blend it into and cut your crease gonna start from the middle and work your way out and then in and you just basically go back and forth like that until you get a look that you are comfortable with so after cutting our crease we're again gonna go back to our fluffy eyeshadow brush and we will be taking some of this shampoo color here to the top of the elf palette right to the top there the fourth from the top that champagne color and that is what we're going to use as our highlight color you're just going to put it to the top under the eyebrow and just blend it after you've got the blended look that you want as you can see it looks pretty much like the other side we're going to be taking our um, clean color vibrant duo eyeliner and this is what it looks like it's a gorgeous green and i would definitely recommend this liquid liner because it lasts so long i've had this for about five months now and as you can see it hasn't dried out so really really good so you're going to take some of that and you're just going to line your upper lid and then you're going to bring it all the way out and up in line with the scotch tape that we placed there. Start from the middle and go out and then go in. Come to the middle. And then we're going to do the wing part of it. And this one is just super easy because we actually have this scotch tape there to guide us as to how to have the straight line. And we just bring it up to match the other side. Um, to the bottom now I'm gonna take what's left over on the felt tip from the top line and very carefully you want to line your bottom line and then join it to the wing um, you want to be really careful with this because it probably can go in your eye because um, it is liquid so just take your time start it on And then once you have that on, you will want to set it so that it will not run and smudge. And so you're going to take a angled liner brush, like this one here, an angled liner brush. And I'm going to be taking some of this green in the e.l.f. palette, again, this green right here, second down from the top. And I'm going to set my liquid liner with that. So you have it, just set the liner by passing it on. And then this is the part where you can add your false eyelashes or you can just add mascara to your own lashes like I am going to do. And I am using my Clean Color Girls Talk Lengthening Mascara. I did a review on this mascara. I will put the link below in the description bar if you want to see the review on this. But overall I think it's a really good mascara for a really great 
price, I paid um, like 15 TT for this, which is probably like two, $2.50 US, somewhere around there. So I'm just going to put it on my eyelashes. And I have already added my foundation. And you're just going to take this off easily, like that. And um, as I said, I've already added my foundation. I did this as a full coverage look. I used my A1 Magic's Cashmere Finish in Nutmeg. This is what this looks like. And I mixed this with my LA Girl Pro Concealer. And this is what this looks like. And this is in the shade um, Espresso. Right, so this is an espresso. So because I wanted a full coverage, what I did, I emptied some on the back of my palm of the two, and then I mixed it in with my stippling brush, and then I applied it to my entire face. Of course, you can use a any foundation that you like, or um, the Ellie Girl Pro Concealer goes well as a foundation by itself. And you just want to make sure I'm blending it in properly. And um, our eyes are finished. Now it's time just to add our lips. For my lips, I will be using some stuff that I got from my contest haul with Chrissy Poo. You can find the link to her channel below. And I am going to be using this NYX lip liner pencil in purple rain and that's what that looks like and I'm just gonna line my lips and fill it in and if you know me you know that I absolutely love purple lips Alright, so my lips are lined and filled in. That's what purple rain looks like on my lips. And then I'm gonna be using this femme lipstick from Clean Color. I also got this from Chrissy Poop. And this is in the color pink. And as you can see, it's a really gorgeous pink. And I'm just gonna take it and put a light layer over the purple rain. And that is that so these are my lips and I'm just gonna oh one more thing before I forget we need to add our powder I don't know why I can't find my face powder right now but um okay so anyway you add your face powder and then you add your blush I will be adding my Milani minerals blush in sweet rose and that's what that looks like but below this i'm going to be putting on my hard candy bronzer in tropics and that is what that looks like so because i can't edit my video i'm seeing that my time is running out so if you would like to see the finished look with my mineral powder and the blushes on i will leave a link below to the picture on my facebook page i hope you guys liked this tutorial I hope it wasn't too long and let me just give you one last look that's what it looks like my eyes and my lips so let me know what you guys think and I will talk to you soon bye